Hey guys, today I thought I'd show you how, like a little tip for building teams, uh, figuring out what's good when, and you might be wondering like, what are magic numbers? I'm going to be explaining them, hopefully they'll help you out. If you have a pretty solid understanding of how the rounding in this game works, I don't think this video would be worth your time, but you can stick around, maybe you learn something new with this video, and it gives some insight into how the game works. Uh, how to build your teams optimally uh, to deal maximum damage or reduce maximum damage. So it, for this, I want us to have a number line. So uh, it goes from one to nine. And this each of these represents the amount of damage uh, something can deal. And there's a key up here, um, SV, Shield Void, half, HL, Halfling, ELS, in Rager Last Stand, these two work very similarly. Plus means that it's good for the ability, and minus means that it's bad for the ability. So when the opponents are dealing one damage, this is good for people with shield and void. So your Harclaw, uh, Mimosa's void, uh, buff to all monsters, they're going to not take any damage. That one is going to be reduced to zero, and that's why I've put SV plus, because it shows how effective that ability is at that damage. Halfling is a minus because it doesn't do anything. It can't reduce one to zero, so Halfling's not completely OP. Uh, Enraged Last Stand gets a minus because I'm pretty sure it only buffs it by one, which makes it only two, and two, uh, at number two, we have everything being normal. That's why, uh, Enraged Last Stand at two, uh, is a minus, because it just makes its, uh, attack damage number kind of normal in terms of damage mitigation and, uh, damage output. So at three, we have a minus for Shield Void because this gets rounded uh, up. So it gets halved and then rounded up back to two. So Shield Void is only getting like half its effectiveness, you could say. It's not getting its full effectiveness and reducing it to 1.5 because of the way rounding works. Halfling gets a plus here. So uh, three damage gets reduced all the way down to one. And that's a massive plus for Halfling. Uh, be, especially since 3 going down to 1 allows you to block all of their damage if you have a shield or void. So if they have a unicorn mustang and you have like a living lava and halfling, that unicorn mustang's 3 damage is essentially reduced all the way down to 0, which I don't have on the number line. Ha uh, halfling at level... oh, I just discussed that. And rage last stand. Okay, so... This takes half of the value and then adds a rounded up and adds it to the, uh, the number. So for one, it'd go to two, two, it'd go to three, three, however, it'd be adding two and it'd jump all the way to five, which is also another nice number. Uh, so four, it's an even number. Everything's normal and five, bad for shield and void. Shield of Void doesn't get full effectiveness. This isn't too bad for Shield of Void because it's still reducing 2 damage, but 3 damage is still quite a lot. Uh, Halfling is good because it reduces it all the way down, I believe, to 2. I haven't double checked this, but I think that's how it works. Enraged Last Stand, 5, goes down to 3, all the way up to 8. 8 is kind of a normal number, but this massive increase in damage output just completely changes it if they don't have resistances. If they do, Enraged Last Stand isn't going to be as useful. So the other numbers, evens are normal. And for these, I'm saying that Shield Void is basically normal, even though they're technically reduced by one, because that one reduction in Shield, uh, that one less reduction of shield and void's reduction essentially is negligible because it's already it's already 
reducing 3 damage, that's already massive from this ability. Halfling, good at 7 and 9, reduces it really low. Uh, well, it halves it, so that's really good. Enraged Last Stand, amazing at 9. Not sure why I didn't put it at 7. But you're not going to realistically reach these numbers before Enrage and Last Stand. If you do, then you're a genius. Or you have like diamond level cards, but I'm, I'm thinking of bronze and silver right now. So evens, like I said, are normal. Uh, you can see this in this, I guess, infographic. And now I want to go through why this matters and why this should be implemented into your team building. So in order to counter uh, Shield and Void, you expect them maybe to go Living Lava. You just go 3 mana uh, at 3 damage attackers, uh, things like Living Lava, um, Unicorn Mustangs also 3 damage. Uh, at 5, it's still quite good against Shield and Void. So things like, I don't know, a buffed? Somehow like a buffed uh, living lava in silver, but I mean, in bronze, this this doubt you don't see this number very often unless it's lava, chrome. And if you're running a death team which can do a lot of debuffs, uh, Mimosa Harkla with tons of debuffs is super strong because you're reducing all of their damage essentially to zero if they don't have any like opportunity sneak or snipe. Um, for water teams, uh, in bronze especially, if you know that your opponent's going uh, void or something like that, they're maybe running one bone golem, you can go like Captain's Ghost with Alaric to bump the two up to three and start dealing two damage rather than just one uh, per turn. So. 3 is also a massive number for Halfling, just because it reduces the 3 to 1, which then can be reduced further to 0, like I said earlier. This 3 is also the reason Lamacron is just so strong, because the 3 gets bumped up to 5, and 5 is a good number, uh, into things like Shield Void, and especially, okay, if they have if there's also the Enrage rule set, this 5 is going to also get bumped up further to an 8, and that's just kind of ridiculous. So in Enrage rule set, I can see Laman Kron being amazing. I mean, it probably is, but this is the theory, I guess, behind it. So that's about it. Um, you can just keep this for reference if you ever need it. Um, I'm thinking of starting a Discord server um, so that we can do some theory crafting. I had some pretty fun ideas that uh, I want to get people starting to do. So in the description there's definitely going to be my discord server. Um, and I really hope that this has helped you understand how uh, the game works and how um, rounding works. So yeah that, that's going to be it.